This video will demonstrate how to control Bluetooth gimbal using ESP32 board. So let's switch on the gimbal and put it in mode 2 which allows full joystick controls and I will be powering on my ESP32 board with little joystick attached to it. So this is the setup little joystick. Let's see if it actually works. So here we go. If we we can go up, we can go down. So here we go, it is possible to control your gimbal using ESP32 board. Next we will look at the Arduino application I wrote and the rest of the little bits from this project. So let's have a look at my setup. So this is my ESP32 board and this is how I wired it up to the joystick so we got X axis, Y axis, switch which I actually didn't manage to get working properly so that doesn't need to be connected in this project and we got I actually am um, using 3.3 volt VCC and ground and now let's move over to the Arduino code so I actually used uh, it was the example application for the BLE client uh, as a starting point and the things I've changed were the service UUID which I got from if we look here so this is the service used to send the commands and if we move back to the Arduino code, the second thing I've changed was characteristics UUID, which I got again from here. So this is actually used to send the actual command to the gimbal. And if we scroll all the way down, so I didn't make much changes there. And here we go. So this is the part where it the basically the main loop and this is where I'm actually reading the joystick and sending the commands. First of all, these are the commands. They are split up in if I am correct 8-bit segments. So what I did was I took so this is one of the commands. I think it is yeah, so this is the up command, so what I did was split it in 8-bit segments and load it up in this array. And the next part is actually sending the command. And this is where I was struggling a little bit from all the examples I found on the internet, which generally was the heart rate monitor ones. And I worked out that it's very simple structure. So this is the remote characteristic. And if we look here, so we already connected to the service. And now we just need to decide where to send the command. Generally, the heart rate sensors were sending the command to this descriptor. But obviously for us, we're not doing that. So we actually send into the the command already to the characteristic. So it's quite simple. So we just take remote characteristic and write the the command over. So this arrayed command over to the remote characteristic. So I've got it set up for up, down, left and right. Uh, I also had a little struggle with these values. So 
what I done was I actually loaded up like a little demo program which reads the little joystick showing the values as you press them up and down and then I worked out because they were fluctuating quite a lot even when the joystick was left alone so I found a nice middle ground since I'm actually running at the moment one speed so this is actually this command turns the gimbal in a certain speed so I've not actually captured slower speeds or anything like that at the moment so I don't have any commands for the slower speeds and yeah so I found that if X axis is smaller than this command then I can send this command for the gimbal to turn up and the same thing is for the down left and right this is the ESP32 board I'm currently using and these are the pins connected to the joystick I have ordered ESP32 board with little OLED display which I will use for the final project there will be also multiple buttons attached to the board which will control the gimbal mode start stop recording and whatever else I will come up with I have started working out the commands and what they actually mean this is where I've got so far so these are the commands and I've split them in 8-bit segments and as you can see there's a little pattern here so the, each command is actually split in two parts and each part starts with 0, 6 which in decimal is 6 and yeah so this is the second part and this is the first part and after that there's a little pattern as well so these commands go up to 193 in decimal and these are the commands sorry the hex values in this row and if we look on the second half of the command on the second part we got something very very similar so again it goes up to decimal value of 193 same goes for the next part it goes up to 39 and on the second part of the command again it goes up to 39 decimal and uh, so on so this goes up to 14 and then we got these three columns at the end of each part of the command and I assume they will go up to 255 in every, uh, every single column here but in this case yeah it goes up to 253 in this example 255 in this one and 249 uh, in this one and here we got something similar 253, 254 and 251 so I assume maybe these are the coordinates where what the gimbal is sending back to the application or maybe it is part of the commands to control the gimbal so that's all for me still to work out once I work out what each part of the command does I will be able to read the gimbal mode and also build motion time-lapse function on the ESP board so thank you very much for watching and I hope this project helps someone